Hello, my name is Igor and in my previous video I was uh, testing the optimal position for 3D printing of the bolts. And this time I will repeat the experiments but uh, now with the screw nuts. I want to clear this question because uh, I am preparing a test where I want to measure how strong are 3D printed nuts from M3 to M12. But first I have to clear this very important question. What is the optimal position for 3D printing inner threads or uh, nuts? Conventional horizontal position or maybe the printing in vertical position will result stronger nut. Of course if you need a standard nut it's much better to use the metallic versions but with this method you can have the thread uh, part of your 3D printed object. Optimal position for threads is the vertical because we don't need a support but with the bolt it was obvious that uh, printing in horizontal position will result much stronger bolt but unfortunately there we need a support. I believe the case will be a little bit different with the uh, screw nuts, but um, let's find out together. I will measure two things. I will measure the torque and also I will measure the pulling force. Well, actually for the screw nut it will be a shear force, but uh, you will see soon. So I will print M6 and M10 screw nuts. And I will print them, one is, will be in horizontal, this one will be in vertical position, but uh, I will print both without any supports. Uh, it is possible, especially with the smaller nuts, there is a one very critical point before this bridging, because overhang here may be too big, but with smaller uh, holes it's, it's usually not a problem. Uh, bigger the hole, the bigger is the overhang, so here will be very critical point on this size before this bridging. So this is extremely big overhang. Uh, reducing the layer height, uh, you can have bigger overhang angle. It can help uh, additional cooling will help too, or reducing the printing temperature. But with that, your layer adhesion will be uh, weaker. So uh, and here with the nuts, we will we need really strong uh, layer adhesion too. And uh, as you can see, I use 100% infill and a lot of parameters, six parameters, because I want this nut here to be to print it fully almost with 100% uh, infill, but with perimeters. So theoretically, this should result the stronger in, uh, nuts. The printing was very quick. I used only one and a half meter of filament for this printing, and it was finished in less than one hour. Now you can see the finishing the hole on M6 nut. It was covered by bridging without any problems. And now let's see those critical points on this printing. And there is the closing the hole on M10 nut. And as I expected, this overhang is really critical. And you can see it has some problems. But uh, at the end it finished uh, the printing properly. In my experience I can print properly the threads up to M12 without any supports, <laughs> but it really depends on your printing material and your maximum overhang angle. So this not printed in horizontal position looks really perfect straight from the 3D printer. And this printed vertically, it looks okay except on that position where the hole was uh, closed by the printing. But it can be cleaned with the metallic bolt or with the tap tool. This is just a washer, vertical position. I will show you my full uh, torque test here, uh, because it's starting with the tightening of the nut to, to the metallic bolt. But don't forget, you can always jump to the results if you don't want to see all, or you, you can use the time sense to see, for example, the pulling test if you would like to. Let's 3.8. Mm -hmm. Oops, something happened. Yes, it's, it's break. Okay, let's see how it broke. Wow. 
So it pull out the tree. Okay, now let's see the horizontal version, which was printed in this position. Again, it uh, started with the tightening the nut to the metallic bolt, and this was really different. I can tell this one is, I feel stronger, 4.7. Five. Well, five point four, five point five. Much better, really. Six. Oh, six point three. Wow. <laughs> it's very really hard to turn. It's seven point four. It's very hard to pull it. Uh, it's easier now a little bit, so something happened. Okay, now it's broken. So again, the tree it was pulled out. For this test, I'm using M6 because they are smaller, and I hope my weight will be enough to break these nuts. This is my measuring equipment. This is a hanging scale up to 150 kilos, and uh, if the nut fails this part will fall down but to avoid the falling to my head uh, this strap will hold it i got several comments in my previous video that this looks dangerous and yes maybe watching the video it looks like it it's uh, not too safe but uh, i didn't feel that it, it's it's uh, any risky so here is the tree Uh, of course, I'm working on better solution and also I'm building a Arduino based tensile testing machine. But until that, I have to finish this experiment. So I, I'm curious about the results. And in this table I summarize the results. As you can see the screw nut printed in horizontal position uh, was better in both tests and also it will be easier to 3D print it in any size. But I was surprised a little bit with the difference on pulling test. And when I analyze the test probes I can see that the thread on the horizontal bolt was shared out. It, it's not there anymore almost. But with the vertical position, but the thread is still inside. And uh, when I analyze the slicer, I can see with this size, M6, the thread has only one perimeter, so there is no material behind and it will easier deform. So probably that's the reason that why it performs so weakly on pulling test. I'm very happy with these results because 3D printing uh, screw nut in horizontal position we result stronger thread compared to the vertical position and this is the conventional method for 3D printing thread so if you need an inner thread on, uh, as part of your object so this is the optimal position unfortunately uh, with the bolts that's not the case so here uh, the stronger bolt uh, is printed in horizontal position but there we need a lot of supports check my previous video uh, very interesting result I got there so now I'm ready to create some tests from M3 to maybe M12, I will see. 
what can I measure and of course I will rebuild this uh, testing machine I'm building one tensile testing machine based on Arduino but I, it takes time to part for parts to arrive from China now I have to give back this stand to the original owner 